I'd say it's about, uh, I would say about 14 feet high. Maybe between 13 and 14. Yeah, this is a nice piece to have. It's very hand to do. You can bring it down low. You can set up it, set it up on a step, like uh, on the stairway or stuff. It is very handy. Okay. And the step ladder I have is very good because you can uh, set it up in different position. The wood here I just found uh, some two by six. I just using it for support. But. Uh, Know that we know the situation is like this for the next for the next one we you bring the aluminum plank. It's safer and is uh, stronger. Hello, it's Bayano with Bayano Redo in here. In this video we're gonna show you guys how to do some insulation poly. This is R28, good for the ceiling here on the area. So this is by code, this is great. This is rock source. Uh, safe and sound and thermal. Let's work. You keep uh, it close, close down here and leave the gap for the air space. Like you guys can see, this is a you have air space to go through the joist that way it doesn't get mold. Okay. All we're gonna do is here. Hello guys, here we're just doing some insulation, some of the carpenter put the truss a little bit, not on the right measurement, so this piece is not holding up there, I need to stay up, so I'm just going to show you a little trick that uh, would help it to stay on place, it fits, but it's uh, just enough, so you just know that, put a little thick in there. Hold it on place for now. Let's do we do the poly. Once we do the poly, put the ball on. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna cut this next piece. So uh, what I do? I just measure it like that with the hand. So if you guys want to see better, yeah, just mark in there. Then I bring it down. Cut it right there. I just use the one of this guy. There. And we're good to go. Yeah, we are here. We pretty much we have all the isolation up. No, we just gotta do the vapor barrier. You know, vapor barrier, the whole stuff. Good to go. We're gonna use uh, the six mil vapor berry. You can six. It's nice and thick. Done. Yes, we're gonna use some uh, thermal cup. Accused stocking. What's that? Accused. Use cock is a thermal. Okay. Yeah. And now uh, we're gonna use this is staples with a hammer staple gun to hold the plastic on place. 
and some uh, say if you like uh, if you have joint we're gonna use it uh, tack tape we have them on red and blue here guys you can see it. in this side here we have a double this is that way we put the start with this put the staple that way it holds better okay. I'm just gonna like uh, do some abused cotton. So. Put it there. Just don't touch it uh, too much because this thing sticks good. I would go like straight to the end and then I go back to the staples. Issue. Right now I can put the dry out there, no problem. So make sure the corner is uh, nice and square. Yes, what we're trying to do here is keep this straight because if it is just round like this. The dry oil would not go in, and plus uh, sometime we'd cut the cut the the vapor bear. So this is important that this is stay in one piece. Right? The dry oil not gonna cut it. So whenever put the dry oil, sometime the border just cut it with a knife. But that is not right. Like we do here, we know it is there. See, this is a, it's not very tight. Enough space for the dry oil to go. Okay, there is a here is a seam, so we're just gonna put the duct tape to seal it. This is a good stuff, really. Okay, my friends, are we done here with the isolation? And we just need to call for inspection tomorrow. And Wednesday we hang the board and fire tape it and we're good to go. Okay. Thank you very much. I love you guys. And uh, see you soon. If you have any comment, please write it down in the comment section. If you want to see more great video, subscribe and we have a uh, great stuff coming up. Thank you, see you soon. Okay, you, and as you guys can check out uh, the load that we tie up of insulation, that video is coming up soon. We link it and great content in there. Thank you.